Hello and welcome back to Body Bags. I'm your host for Thursday evening, the Sinister One. And this week is a random review, so I uh, went ahead and found one out of the watch pile and threw it in. And what do you do when you mix Scream? I know what you did last summer. And you throw them in a Compton themed atmosphere. You get Cutthroat Alley with Mac 10 and Busy Bone. So it's basically. Um, some hoodlums that are basically uh, gangsters or give the impression that they are um, gangsters and they have a rival gang and then um, the members of this uh, so-called gang start getting picked off one by one and the girlfriends uh, are also getting picked off and it's kind of a whodunit a slasher type film so you're trying to figure out who, who could be behind this um, slain you have your uh, stereotypes uh, the hard yet small gangster the gangster who done time, the wankster, the druggie, uh, the OG, just you know your stereotypes and you know everything so cliche uh, with the killings, the typical slasher, and yeah, you kind of just have to figure out who done it or wait till the end, so. My thoughts on this film. I I thought it was okay. I've seen I've seen a lot worse, and this wasn't too bad. But you have Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Mac Tan from West Side Connection, who is um, is Ice Cube Scoop. So you have a notable uh, rappers and. They come from a long line of talent, being NWA. So, Ice Cube, you know, has made some blockbuster hits, Boys in the Hood, um, and you know, Friday, and The Barbershop, and you know, some other other films that are lesser known, but. Ice Cube was one hell of an actor, and you get, you know, two of his buddies, close friends, and the movie is just, doesn't even come close to a blockbuster, and both of these artists are talented, I saw them in concert, and talent, Busy Bone, and Bone thugs, they can freestyle without a beat, so that's pretty, that's pretty awesome uh, when they did that, you know. And you know, Mac Ten's legendary with West Side Connection and WC, and you know he's a great storyteller in his own right. But I honestly thought Mac Ten really did a great job with his acting skills. And Busy Bone kind of, there wasn't really that much screen time with, with him, so I was kind of disappointed in that. This film could have been a lot, a lot better, but it had it, it had its its funny moments, and you know it wasn't too terrible to watch. Uh, the acting was was pretty uh, pretty lame, but other than that. Uh, the kills were pretty cool. 
There's some off screen kills which I was kind of disappointed in. But, all in all, it, it was a cool slasher film. A good hood horror film uh, to put in your collection. So, you know, you could pick this one up on eBay for dirt cheap, like three bucks. So, check it out. Cutthroat Alley. Two stars. Alright, people, thanks for watching. And I will be back next week with another review.